this is Amy. Welcome today to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a filbert brush design using a number 16 a magic filbert brush and a number 12 filbert or not filbert excuse me flat brush by uh, a magic number eight Deerfoot stippler and my fine liner by Westonia. All the paints I use once again are folk art. I'm using pure orange, autumn leaves, and I do use a mixture of the multi surface and the enamels just depending on colors available. Thicket, happy green, which I really like the happy green, pure orange, I think I already did that, I'm sorry, and wicker white. Alright, so to begin, I'm going to fill my filbert brush, the number 16, up with the autumn leaves, tip it into the pure orange, and start creating my flowers. Okay, so I'm just basically pushing down, and sorry, hit the camera, and pulling down, pushing down and pulling towards the center. Basic stroke, pulling towards the center, and you can make your petals smaller as you go, or depending on how you're trying to get your your flower to be, you know, if you want it to look like it's going one direction. And then I just tipped into the wicker white, and I'm going to come back over here, just pull towards the center, keep filling in with paint as I go. Now, if you're new to my channel, please know that I do create very simple designs for the beginner painter. And the more opaque your design is, the more durable the paint is going to be on your design. So if you ever wondered I know I get a lot of questions about this now when you are painting on glass yes it can scratch I mean it definitely can so it's not something that I'm going to say it can't but if you put your paint on rather thick that's going to allow it to be more durable and help keep your design looking nice for a long time. A couple things that you can do. You can allow your piece to dry for a little bit. You can hit it with a heat gun, do a second coat, you know, whatever, however you want to achieve the second coat. If you're in a hurry, you know, you can uh, hit it with a heat gun hair dryer and then continue on. Okay, so I'm just pushing down and pulling up. You can go like that, or you can create by pushing down and turning your brush a little bit. Either way is fine. Or you can actually go on the chisel edge, you know, turn it a little bit, and then create a smaller type of petal. Alright, and then I'm going to, I really don't like even numbers, I'm trying to think here, I'm going to do one more I guess, so I'm going to have, have even numbers even though I don't really, I'm not real crazy about even numbers. And if you feel like it's too white, just go back over it. You don't have to just stop with the one coat or you can keep painting as you go. As it starts to dry though, you're gonna see a lot of times it does become a little bit more transparent. So that's why it's good to keep that in mind. Second coats are often a necessity just to, you know, give it a good, 
uh, you know, a pretty, co pretty coverage basically. And I can come back over here and go over this, but I'm not going to right now. Just so that you know that that's what you can do. That's the main thing. All right, so I'm going to come here with my fine liner, stick it into the different greens. I can even do a little white if I want. And I'm going to, of course, come in here and stick my stem in there. I can even come up here like that one's hanging from it instead of... You know, being right next to it, it's kind of hanging down in front of it. And then I go over my stems. I have a tendency to, to do this just to give them good coverage. Just because I do believe that the more opaque your design is, the more durable it's going to be. And then I'm just going to come off of these and do some little branches, stems, whatever you want to call them, out from the original. Do the same thing here. It can come over the flower a little bit, that's fine. And I'll just go over them as much as, as I can. And do a little one up that way. Okay. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do is pick some that I'm going to come in here and just do, I forget what this is called. There's a plant that, that, that this design reminds me of when I do this. Again, I don't remember what it's called. Birds seem to love it. So I know at one point a nursery that I used to go to was, wasn't selling it anymore because people were talking about birds you know, getting in it too much, so I don't know. I like my birds, so that was okay with me. Now I'm gonna maybe put a little touch of white in here, kind of go over it. And up in here, you can vary the lengths. Some can be shorter, longer, thicker, thinner, doesn't matter. Then pick another area. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna have this one going up that way. I'm going to come down here. Oh, I might pick one of these too, because I don't need to have a ton of open space. Especially when I've got a couple. Yep, see how they go. down here I want to have some going in in this one I think on here I'll have this going up through the flower and while I'm doing this if you have any questions or comments please feel free to place those down below the video also before you leave if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel I would greatly appreciate that that notification bell too so you get notified when I post something new which I try to do a lot of videos which kind of makes it a little hard sometimes to come up with creative new things I'm trying to work on some new new styles of painting but we'll see see what happens I think typically once you get yourself into a, a style you tend to gravitate towards that but that could just be me. All right, so there we go with that. Don't want to spend too much time on that. Next thing I'm going to do is put my one side of my bristles into the thicket, one side into the happy green, and this is the flat brush that I'm using. I'm going to go in here into the orange because I had that set aside from my previous video, or not video, but when I was doing the design on my, my, 
paper because I always do my design on my paper before I do the video. So I'm just going to come through here and just put out just some basic one stroke type petals and maybe do the same come in this direction. Now this is going to cover up some of what I already painted which is fine. go and then I want some going the other direction too I don't want them all all hitting the one side of the bottle I can even add in some light I'm gonna just do this again I work in, in my odd number so if you ever wonder why I only do so many one one direction or whatnot that's why all right next thing I'm going to do is start adding in just some basic wiggle leaves. That's what I call them. You can do it either way where you have both sides have the dark or the light on the outside or you can rotate it where one side is light, one side is dark. Doesn't matter, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna come down here do a few here. Okay. I'm sorry I'm moving this around so much, but there you go. You don't have to put a ton of leaves. I'm a big leaf person. If you follow me, you you'll know this about my designs. I have a tendency to probably overdo it, but that's just me. And let's see, maybe we'll add a add another one up here. You can see that. And I do appreciate you stopping by to view my video be finished here shortly. And trust me, once you get the hang of this, you're going to come up with your own ways to create your designs. You're not just going to stick with, with one way. Alright, so I'm going to dip my brush into the happy green. And then just come through here, just adding in some more interest as I do that. It makes it to when you're doing all these greens on top of each other, kind of makes it to where you can see it just a tad bit better. And also like in this situation where you're kind of just bringing it out from a flower, it might look like you're just sticking it there. Why not you know, add some of these? I'm just doing some quick little holes here. And maybe come over here and do another one. All right, almost done, I promise. All right, gonna come back here to my liner brush, stick it into my colors, and then I'm gonna come in here and put in my little, little stems. And I'm just making them just really light. I can see them here. But some of them are, get that glare because I have my lights, so it'll be hard to see at times. For me too. You can just kind of be a little whimsical with it or you can be you know, just straight and not really vary from that too much. I'll just put a little touch in there just so I can see that they had a little stem in them. All right, to finish up, very quick and easy. Sorry, very quick and easy. I'm going to take my different stepler, stick it into the happy green, 
just kind of pounce it around you can pounce it out here if you want to make sure you don't have that much paint on them that's up to you I'm just going to come in here towards the bottom of each flower and then I'm going to pounce into the white pounce it off a little bit I'm sorry if you can't see pounce it off a little bit and I'm just going to come in here I don't really care if it covers up the whole center or not I just want it to be loose you can always put some dots around them if you want I just want to leave them like they are I think they're fine and we're done all right I hope you like this video if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends I would greatly appreciate it Thanks again for stopping by. I really, really, really do appreciate you. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.